Hello everybody, Sift here again with another bio prototype. It has been a long time, but this game got a huge patch and they added more uh, uh, units, more, uh, I guess, abilities, more skills, everything, a bunch of the new things. And we're gonna go with the Rhinoceros as there are new uh, horned abilities. And this uh, says that organs connected to the same side that uh, horns uh, are connected don't decay. That's very important. I'm gonna try to do an only horns build if possible. Difficulty, I guess we're gonna go with level four. Um, I'm not really sure. It doesn't really matter. Let's go with level four. And uh, let's go. I'm not going 5 because it does uh, connections weirder, but level 4 is nice. So the horns are new weapons that do a lot of damage, as you just saw there. It's just a 75 uh, damage weapon. In this game, normally you do like 8. So this does like 70 plus. And the idea is um, that the farther away they are inside your build, the more powerful, the less powerful they are. But this character obviously does not have that issue. The Rhinoceros does not have that issue. And they also add new animations, and in general, the game is becoming better. better. Horn of the Demon strikes enemies with lightning when activated every organ located between the, so this coronal and the brain increases the damage increases the damage uh, and it decays uh, the decay is that it does less I'm not exactly sure what the decay is. I have completely not understood what's happening here. It doesn't really matter. Activate the right side organ while effects on the left side organ expire. Does expire mean does expire mean what I think it means? I don't think it means what I think it means. I think we're gonna go with, uh, you know what, let's take it and see if it actually works on horns. So we got this horn here. Horn of the Unicorn. Strike enemies with lightning when activated. Uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. No no upside, no downside. And this here is the more damage based on how many are between. So we're gonna go Cochlea. Nope, Cochlea is not a thing with the horns. Well, so this does not, <laughs> definitely does not come with those. Uh, this is based on 50 damage. This is 50. You know what? Let's go. Let's go. Let's just continue. We have the new horn abilities that are awesome and powerful and insanely busted. So let's actually just continue destroying everything we find in front of us and uh let's see how this is gonna go uh, now in general i want to do like a multiple horn marmada attack build or something like that that would be nice in my mind uh, you know on hit fire out a uh, horn and then it's just horns within horns within horns and then you just everything chain reacts into chain reaction into chain reaction just a million pops upon pops upon pops we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna see but at least that is my idea right there is hopefully we're gonna find uh, this exactly vulture so activate the right side organ when the left side organ uh, kills an enemy or boxer activate the right side organ when the left side organ hits an enemy uh this is a lot more powerful 300 damage but this is easier to do and this also is gonna chain into what i want to do although as i said does less damage doesn't matter it's gonna easier to do what i want to do uh, i don't enjoy any of these to be honest uh but might as well go with fire lizard i don't know uh let's go with when this hits it fires off these horns they are supposed to do 50 damage boom they do seven damage uh three percent amplifier located between this organ and the brain increase the damage oh uh yeah it is 37 percent efficiency here and then it also gets 30 percent damage that's why it does seven instead of less and uh yeah we can't really put anything else in here so let's continue in case you know what this game is it's a game where you just create busted builds it's as if you're playing i would say path of exile but uh, extremely crazy crazy version where you just um, you just build the crazy abilities that chain into each other and react into each other as you see right now we're doing for example seven damage with that one skill there as i previously stated you know a, a lot of these do actually um yeah do that damage that's the normal amount of damage you do in this game now of course we don't have any piercing we don't have any anything but we are getting a lot of kills here whenever we attack so that's pretty decent of course we want to power up as fast as we want as as as, as fast as we can not want we want to power up as fast as we can let's try to avoid everything here opponents obviously are moving faster and faster here we go let's go into the the cabin chimpanzee or cat uh when an experiment let's go chimpanzee so the left side organ uh, the right side organ fires every this amount of seconds I think that's good for spikes. Raven, when uh, the organ contributes to kills, 178. This is a lot better than the other one I have. The one hit. And another chimpanzee for attacking. Snail. Uh, I could get another chimpanzee. So I'm going to now say, what is this? A chimpanzee with 250 efficiency, 1.42 attack speed. Attacks every 1.42 seconds is what I meant to say. Uh, we can either go with the same, 1.43 seconds. So it's pretty much the same, but a, less, a bit less damage. But it can uh, have one more weapon. Mm, the one more weapon doesn't really help me, to be honest. I'm gonna go for this for right now. So this has 178 efficiency. And now this does 3d4 damage. Now, of course, I definitely would like to also put this here. So when this hits, it's gonna apply burn. This here says that we apply a bunch of stacks of burn. And then when the duration ends, it explodes. Wait a minute, minus 50% damage. Wait a minute. Is my passive supposed to be organs other than horns have a 10% decay rate? Decay means the deeper it is, the more it decays. Organs connected to the same left side organ 
with a horn never decay. Ah, okay. So what that means is if I did something like this and put this down here, which it, that that's not able to happen by the way, because this 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 does not fire. This is a status effect. Then this would not decay. I guess that is what that is supposed to mean. Okay, I got it. So, uh, we don't care about this then. We're, we're still gonna t apply burn on hit. Although it does zero damage, I don't really care about the fact that it does zero damage. And then I'm gonna say when this expires, you know, this is when it expires, then the next thing is gonna fire, which the next thing we don't have yet, but it's okay. Uh, and we're gonna go with organ quality. I want to find better organs. I'm blasting through this because today I'm gonna try to upload as a lot of videos. I I'm not sure if a lot of videos is gonna be three instead of five. Um, what's three instead of two, but... You know, that's what I wanted to do. And look at this, the moment they explode, the moment they die, they instantly explode. So uh, at least that part is functioning. Now, them exploding doesn't really do anything, but in a moment we're gonna have the thing that says, oh, look at this, we're doing a lot of damage, man, we're destroying the elites. Uh, in a moment we're gonna get, not in a moment, but in a moment, yeah, in a moment, I guess, we're gonna combine something with the burn, and then it's gonna be like, when burn expires, something else happens. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna find uh, another spike, right? Another horn. So that we get, you know, when the burn expires, another horn fires uh, is my idea. Because the burn expiring also means the enemy dying. Like, that is pretty much... That's pretty much how you use that expiring mechanic in poison effects or in damage effects in general. So uh, that's a really important. Here we go. Off into the chamber. And we got a tentacle of the dragon, which is like a thing that loops around you. Like, you know, the books in Vampire Survivors and Intestine of the Camel. Which is um, spread the effect of the right side organ on the ground. So this is like a puddle on the ground pretty much. Uh, and we found our horn of the demon, which once again, as I said, this is uh, the deeper it is, the more damage it does. Very nice. <laughs> what, what is this thing? <laughs> Offspring of the honey rat. Spawn in honey rats that last for the duration when activated. Honey rats cannot get damaged and move towards you. Okay, so this is a pet that is damage immune and moves towards you. That's it pretty much. Uh, a gland of the sludge. Connect the units affected by poison bag or belly with beams, damaging them. This is, this is good for us because we do use burn. So this actually makes the burn be useful. So now I can transition into double attack. And I can say, you know what, these guys that are burning, boom, uh, make them actually get damaged. Or I could say, you know what, when those guys that are burning die, uh, boom, spike them. Spike them, boys. So activate the rights and organ when the effect expires. So when the burn expires, we shoot out another spike that does 3D do damage. Uh, 3D do, 3D2 damage. Wait, if this is 3D4 and it's over here, and this is 3D2 over here, uh, if I swap them, shouldn't that one be more powerful? So this is, yeah, this is 4D1 over here. And this is 26. Ah, this is in general weaker. You know what? Let's have the weaker on the very right. Uh, I could also have the loop-de-loop, -loop, but the loop-de-loop -loop obviously is going to do three, no damage because it's low. So right now, uh, we, we every, every... Actually, let's go with what we had. So every 1.42 seconds, we shoot out a spike. If that spike kills anything or contributes to a kill, then another spike fires out with 41 damage that burns opponents. And when the burn expires or the enemy that is burning expires, we shoot out another spike that does 26 damage. So we're chaining into chaining into chaining. And I'm going to say we're going to also go with a new brain so I can have even more abilities. And we're going to go into the new brain and say, you know what? I want to also every, you know, 1.43 seconds fire out the loop-de-loop -loop and also connect the opponents with uh, laser beams, right? As this says, connect to units affected by poison beams. I connect. I connect to units affected by poison bag or belly. And belly, by the way, is this thing. This here is a belly. Uh, as you can see, where is that? Uh, here, up here at the top left. Uh, belly in general and poison is obviously poison effects let's go let's go and let's see how the build looks now i want to do mainly a spike build obviously as i said uh so now we should see some chain reactions start happening and whoever is burning yeah should get connected with a beam with me and that beam obviously does damage so we're doing the apocalypse build i guess because we're shooting out laser beams in the sky and whenever an opponent dies they explode because we obviously have burn applied on everything and whoever is burning as i said gets connected with us and then gets damaged even more now they don't survive that much to be able to even see what i'm talking about uh, but you're gonna see that at some point right <laughs> I'm supposed to be connecting every once in a while come on give me a connection give me a connection nah I think the connection is killing them. No, I don't think so, actually. I don't think the connection is doing enough damage here. For half a sec, you saw there we got connection going. By the way, they also added a magnet. I was looking up what new things they add in this game. And yeah, they just added a bunch of new things. Um, so yeah, there's that. As I said today, I'm going to try to upload as many videos as possible. Uh, although it's already 10 a.m. over here, so I have to shoot so many videos. Anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go and see how this goes. Oh, the burn, by the way, did one damage there, so that's nice. And what is this? Connect the units affected by poison bag or belly. So the same thing. Uh, activate the right side organ every four seconds uh, when I don't take damage. I mean, I'm not taking damage most of the time, and this is 600% efficiency. 
And this is a 1.25 activation time, so this is a fast activation time. Giant Bat, Pupa, or Puffer. Puffer is uh, around you debuff. Uh, this is also new. And then Fire Projectile is also a new thing that just shoots a projectile. And as far as I know, this is also new. It's like an organ damage. It's a buff that makes you do more damage. Uh, let's go with the Puffer in general. I enjoy that. Uh, I mean, it's the first time I'm picking it. <laughs> uh, let's go now Spine of the Chimpanzee just to have more accessibility. And Jackal is the fast attacking one. Yeah, they, they just added this to the game too. Although it contributes to... No, this is directly kills. But it does a lot of efficiency. Now let's go with this. Let's go with having more attack speed. So I'm going to say while enemies are connected with a laser, right? Um, actually, I could just have a puffer right here. And then say, no, 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 puffer is not a thing. So every four seconds I'm not getting hit. No, I think we had it the first time. I think we had the correct version the first time. Wait a minute, what is this by the way? This here is Chimpanzee, 142, 250. 125, 216, this might be better. I could do th this. Ah, it's just gonna be faster, not better specifically. You know what, let's go with what I tried to create previously. So we're gonna go with an extremely normal one. And we're gonna say loop-de-loop -loop and also connect the opponents with lasers. And then I'm gonna say while they are connected with lasers, you know, every 0 0.81 seconds, Actually, while they're connected with lasers, they're gonna leave on the ground. We don't have any poison effect. <laughs> so while they're connected with lasers, they're gonna connect with lasers even more. Because why not? And while they're also connected, they're gonna... Well, we don't have any other attacks, so this connection doesn't even make sense. And they're gonna continue with organ quality up, up, up. And at this point, we have 50 coins. Might as well go for movement speed as moving and avoiding opponents is the most important thing in all of these games. We're gonna continue going as close to opponents as possible. Oh, they are surviving now. Well, that's the loss of the game right here. <laughs> I don't think so. I just want to create just a bunch of lasers. That's what I want to get. And for us to get a bunch of lasers, first of all, we need to find horns. We need to find more horns, that is. And also, I need to find a lot more of those when hit hit effects. You know, when this hit hits, then the other hit hits, and then they just chain react into each other. Uh, or when they kill, or uh, contribute to a kill, I, I guess would be a better um, a more logical thing to get. But I do enjoy that we're shooting out spikes whenever opponents are dying. Like, the more opponents are close to us, the more powerful this build is. As uh, more opponents are burning, and then when those opponents that are burning die, then we shoot out another spike. And that just chain reacts into chain reacting. Although that last spike does not really... Um, that last spike does not apply more burn, right? So when they die, that, that spike, any kill that it gets, it's not contributing to anything other than it, you know, increase the DPS we're doing. So uh, let's continue destroying opponents while running around and picking up money. And uh, let's see what else they added in the game. Let's destroy what we can find. You know what I could also do? I could maybe try to get a pet build going, and then those pets shoot out spikes. That might be even better than actually us shooting out spikes. So let's see if we can do that. Frog, again one charge when inflicting a debuff on any target. When reaching maximum charges, consume more charges to do a 600 efficiency attack, but it has 126 cooldown. Falcon, this is also new. Activate the right side organ. When the left side organ contributes to a boss kill or an elite kill, yeah, 1,161 is good, but the thing is, this is just... Uh, connect units with the wings. And let's... Uh, I have a tool. Let's take this for money. Mammoth, giant limb, giant limb. Mammoth is in general good. I'm gonna take this for future proofing because it gives roots, and roots are buffs in general, and offsprings are pets. So just by taking this, I will have either a pet or a buff every 2.54 seconds. So we're gonna take that to have that. Cat, when it expires, a jackal attacks fast. Uh, these are all blue, by the way. Fast attack or when expires. I mean, the when expires is once again for debuffs, which I don't really have. While the spine uh, maybe makes more sense. Let's roll these, actually. And uh, these are really bad. Iant. Spawn and neg that lasts for a duration and activate. X gets destroyed instantly when uh, contacting an enemy. Every uh, organ located between these uh, gives this a reduced fertility. It has a good fertility, though. And it spawns... One... I don't know how many this spawns. Oh, it's based on the fertility one I'm talking about. Uh, you know what? Let's take this to maybe get the thing going. So, uh, do I want to replace these, this whole thing? Let's actually stash it, group stash it. And I can say, you know, every... Where's the where's the, the big thing we picked up? Here we go. Every 2.54 seconds, we spawn how many ants? We spawn three ants, right? Up to nine. That do what? That uh, do this thing. That do this thing. Look at this. That that every so these ants every 1.25 seconds they shoot out a dragon head, which I mean this is irrelevant, completely irrelevant. But they also connect them themselves. Like the ants connect with whoever has a debuff. So uh, that that's the whole idea here. And then I could say you know whoever is connected. No, uh, yeah. So they do connections twice at the same time. 
but the main aspect here is whatever is connected every 0.81 seconds shoots out one of these projectiles or or i could do the opposite i could say oh this doesn't have a right side okay forget it we cannot do the opposite this uh, this is for selling i don't want this honestly so let's sell this out and i'm gonna say this is gonna have a debuff around it which right now we don't have ready but it's gonna happen at some point at some point i could also throw one of these out let's throw this one out the the slowest one and uh, 319 let's actually just invest in organ quality and then with 90 coins i guess i'm gonna just get an hp and off into the fight we shall go we're already at wave 7 the game is ending and here we got a little pet which just is an indication that we have the pets themselves now these pets as i said anything that is debuffed they're gonna connect to and that means whatever is debuffed uh, one a couple of seconds later are gonna just take a lot of damage because of said pets uh every when have i put these to spawn i think every four seconds i would also like to give those guys that when they expire or when they die there is a debuff that says when they die debuff uh not not debuff a keyword i guess and if i get that thing which says whenever you know a, a pet dies whoa did you see that chain reaction there i love it because you know whenever something burns we're not doing that much damage by the way here we go explosion chain reaction whoop explosion chain reaction we're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this. I'm already enjoying everything new I'm seeing. These pets here, these are new. And also, you know, pretty much everything is new. Whatever you see is new. <laughs> I mean, factually speaking, uh, the, the the style, uh, the stylization of the game is better. And also the menu screens are better for sure. Uh, let's whoop. Let's roll down. By the way, don't forget to mention down below anything that I mix up or make a mistake about. Anything that you have already seen before. Uh, definitely tell me about... Uh, what I, I say wrong or whatever. So let's continue looping around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chain reactions, chain reactions. Uh, my pets obviously just despawn the moment I spawn them because two Mario points are in the background. But as I said, we're gonna make the pets get the effect that says when they die, they're gonna explode or something. And then you're gonna see we're gonna have bombs. Hey, offspring of the uh, honey rat. So these chase us down. Duration six seconds. I'm gonna try to use that actually. Uh, poison or put something you know what we're gonna go with poison the crocodile poison which is infinite poison or I could go with the lizard uh, actually these two are the same DPS wise with the difference being that this explodes so we're gonna go with this infinite stacks but also explodes uh, boxer definitely chain reactions this is a buff that gives movement speed okay this is also new but I think boxer what is gas toad also new transforms the deep buff or debuff effect of the right side organ into a surrounding aura periodically and makes the effect area shrink over time okay that's big and then becomes smaller uh i'm gonna go with the boxer and uh let's try to actually get the other pet so let's take this how many is this spawning two pets up to four so these have a six second cooldown and they actually don't they the last six seconds and they actually don't despawn they are literally damage immune and they're gonna stay close to us uh here i'm gonna say you you do connections and while connected the opponents shoot this loop to loop but from this side uh from this side wait a minute Oh, ants is not possible. Okay, so the also connections, but these connections, whoever is connected... No, 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 no. I could put these this this here. I could switch this around, like, throw this away for a moment. Uh, uh, stash this for a moment. Then I'm gonna say... Oh, that was the wrong stashing, by the way. Uh, let's stash this whole thing. And then we're gonna say that uh, while alive, you know, you will have the aura ar around you because these are going to be close to us, the fire aura. And then while opponents have the fire aura, you know, while oh, things are burning every 1.25 seconds. Actually, let's make this faster. And let's switch these. So every 0.81 seconds, we do the connection for 4 damage. And then this just loops around for 6 damage. I do think this is a good build. And then the spikes continue in this line here, honestly. Yeah, the spikes just continue. I need to get one more spike to put this here. So when this hits, then another thing hits. And then we just continue the chain reaction of spikes. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to say we go with organ quality. And then also, I would say HP is already leveled. Critical damage. Base damage. Let's go with base damage. And off into their one we shall go. So theoretically, now I should have better pets. That, uh, yeah, these pets here that are burning even. And they should have an aura nice so whoever touches that aura is gonna start getting connected with each other and then whoever's gonna connect with each other they all will start taking damage although these guys take a while to activate their aura but that thing is definitely good and these guys are actually good you know there is also another pet i think they added that says that it goes towards opponents instead of close to me i i would like to get that pet to be honest the pets that run outward and not inward because i cannot really use this in a constructive manner uh, and we also i'm seeing like organs on the ground which i definitely want to pick up if i can get there 
without getting damaged. Now, of course, the game becomes harder and harder. Oh, I do enjoy that they have added a little arrows where um, you can see where exactly the drops are. That definitely did not used to be in the game, so they added even more things than what I thought of. I mean, it's not like I read literally, oh, look at that, man. The moment these guys decide to fire the lasers, everything that is burning is just instantly getting smashed. Because these guys are like two or four at a time, and they just fire the laser off, you know, multiple times. That just burns and destroys opponents. But I definitely, definitely would like to get the other pet, as I said. I want the pet that runs away, that, that, that chases down opponents, not the pet that chases down me. Because this pet here that chases down me is definitely not really helping us. Um, anyway, it doesn't really matter. We're going to continue on with this. I would like to get horns. Now, I could also make the pets attack with horns. And then they would definitely do more damage than us. Uh, not more damage, but they would shoot out more horns than us. Off we shall fly. Uh, we found a tentacle of a hornet. Okay, fires projectiles, whatever. Greatly increase organ frequency for duration when activated. The buff effect scales with efficiency of the left side organ. Uh, okay, so this gives us attack speed. You pet normal. This is the very, very slow debuff. Uh, <laughs> it's huge though, it's like a huge area that all get debuffed around. Clown, nerve with the clown, activate the right side organ while the left side organ hits an uninjured enemy. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's a clown thing though. Uh, do I want this? I guess I could take this. I need to have it very first though. Hold it, that's a machine gun effect. Uh, is it? Projectile 1, chain 2. This could definitely be, you know what, let's take this. I have an idea. Here we go. Activate the rest of the organ on death. So this is very, very important. Uh, I'm going to say we're getting our brain. I think we're going to get our brain. I'm going to see. Uh, I want to see what I'm going to do with these guys. So this guy definitely, I would say, needs the on death. So no, not these guys even. We're going to even go one step back. We're going to say you guys on death. Uh, spawn these guys. Now they spawn even more of them. Does that make sense? So we spawn these and they spawn them. And these guys, uh, can I please get all the back? And these guys, every fastest amount possible, shoot out the laser beams, which do four damage, but it's going to be so many laser beams. It's going to be insane, I think. And then whoever's connected with laser beams gets burned. Mm, or I could just say these guys, the opposite of what I just mentioned. I think I want to have a bunch of laser beams, right? I'm not sure. Maybe these guys, no, 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 maybe this has to go here. And then you burn them, and then whoever is burning. Wait, do I want burn? I could, I could, I could say you you throw the poison on the ground. This has a duration of six seconds. So instead of them having the aura after three seconds, we can say after three point eight seconds they throw the aura on the ground, which might be better. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. And then while they're burning, you know, while the opponent is burning, they attack with the machine gun or with the connection. I think the connection laser is better because they will be burning. Therefore, they will be doing that thing. Let's test this out for a moment because you can test out in this thing. Let's see. Let's see. So these are my pets. And then when they're going to die, they're going to spawn the other pets. I'm going to die. Here they go. And then these pets here. Uh, are they going to die? No. Uh, yeah, we have a maximum of four. And then these guys set up the poison on the ground. I just got hit in the training area. Uh, is this better than the previous version? I'm not really sure. Let's try the previous version. I pressed escape, by the way. This is how the game goes. So let's throw this into this. And let's test again real quick. <laughs> and let's see. Maybe this is actually better. So we're waiting for the eggs to destroy, uh, to die. Obviously, the eggs are spawning a bit faster. Not, not faster, but easier. Yeah, I think this is better. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. Nah, nah, nah. I, mm, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna go with the uh, spawn them on the ground and see how this is gonna go. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. Who knows? We're gonna see. Boom. Spawn them on the ground. And also, I would like to sell some things. I don't care about this buff that much. So, and I also, I do care about the puffer, but I don't care about the buff. And I don't need that many of these. And the clown is definitely a go. Uh, what is this? Shoot uh, one projectile, two chain. One projectile, two chain. Ah, let's throw this away. Let's also throw... Well, between those choices, 125, 129. Let's throw this away. Uh, this is decent in my opinion, but I'm not really sure. Let's also go for another brain, to be honest. And uh, because I think we're going to go into boss fight or something... Uh, no, no, no. Let's, let's just go organ drop rate so we start powering up extremely fast. And in the new brain, we're going to say... Well, definitely we're going to say I should not have thrown away some things, but whatever. Uh, we shoot this, and then when that hits, and then... 
we get the loop-de-loop, -loop, and also we're gonna get free connections every whenever. And I think this is good enough. Oh, and whoever is connected every 21, 25 seconds, nothing. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. Or I could just, yeah, I think that's good. Or I could say this, which is I have a buff, right? Uh, let's just get all these back. I have a buff, which gives us movement uh, frequency, cast frequency. And then while I have the buff, which is pretty much permanently, right? We're going to be shooting out machine gun effects uh, and loop-de-loops. And also, when the machine gun effect hits, it's going to spawn these guys. Now, these guys do 1 damage. These guys do 21 damage. Like, in general, because the deeper these are, the worse it is. But I don't... I, I can connect horns here. I could connect horns here. Do I want that? Do I want to destroy my chain reaction of horns? I do enjoy my chain reaction of horns. I'm going to keep this part as is. And uh, let's go with crit chance. Because why not? 5% crit chance. And let's go into the run. Hoping that we're going to survive, of course. With my new... Pet Armada idea. Uh, oh, here we go. The pet's buff. Oh, these guys machine gun even. Very nice. Uh, do my other pets. Here we go. The the burn on the ground and the lasers. Yeah, it's just... Oh, and look, we have like loops going around that go around that go around. Very nice. Laser them down. And we have a permanent buff effect for at cast frequency. So as long as my pets are close by... They will be casting faster and faster. Hey, look, another elite over here. We're just destroying them. I would like to get the these spiky things. When they die, something happens. Uh, other than spawning the other pets. Actually, the first and foremost thing we need to get is that those other pets actually chase down opponents instead of chasing down us. Which, um, I mean, it's completely different pets. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We got the loops around us. You know what? Maybe these loops around us... Yeah, I should make when these loops around us hit something... Then we spike opponents. And the same goes with laser. No, no, we're going to do that with the laser. So I need to get... When the laser damages something, we shoot out spikes. That is the play. That is the play. Because we're lasering everything, right? Uh, because the laser is whatever is debuffed. And pretty much everything is debuffed all the time. Because we have like a million different ways of doing debuffs. So we definitely want uh, to put... When opponents get hit by the laser... They shoot out spikes, and those spikes are gonna pretty much hit themselves, right? So it's gonna just be a chain reaction of chain reactions of just a bunch of damage just chaining into each other. Uh, and I think that's how you're supposed to even use the laser in the first place. Did I die? Nope, <laughs> my pets died. Off we go into the chamber. Here we go, we found a nerve of the box, which is a hit an enemy. And we also found a better version of the spawning thing, the mammoth. Here we go, bullfrog. Bullfrog is the fastest buffing thing, so this is the best one to put on your pets. Um, and this is also new, by the way, which is when you are stationary, you, uh, every, every second you're stationary, you get a charge, and then, uh, you fire off something with 300 power. We're gonna get the bullfrog, obviously. Slimy, this is the fastest version of putting things poison on the ground, and this is the unmovable version of the pet's vulture organ directly kills 581 power. Okay, now we're gonna go with Slimy here. And, uh, and our bullfrog, honestly, no, I would say. I'm gonna say we roll these. Swordfish. Three projectiles. Uh, this is a very good on hit, but I think I'm gonna go with organs contribute to a kill. This is a very good on hit effect, though. Can I see my organs? Can I just build this up here? Uh, I'm thinking the following. When this on hit... Can this not connect to an on hit? Oh, this cannot connect to an hit. Can... Wait a minute, what? Really? Can this one connect to an on hit? No, okay, okay, so obviously they made that so that you cannot break the game completely because, you know, that was my first thing, my first thought. But, you know what connects to an on-hit? This thing. So you connect to an on-hit. Uh, projectile amount 3, that's important. So this cannot connect in general, actually, because it just didn't happen to have that. So this is a very bad one, but it's going to give us a lot of money. Do I want money? Well, the fact of the matter is I do want money. Let's take this. Let's go into mutation. And let's see what we can do right now. So this here, every three seconds activation, I'm going to say we're going to go with the slimy, which is a faster activation. Uh, the radius is even bigger on the slimy because it's a legendary where this thing is gray. So uh, we're going to go with slimy here. Boom, done. And I would say instead of having uh, 180 efficiency, 60 efficiency, but it's permanent. I'm not sure that's a good idea. This also has a huge radius. Since when's the bullfrog a huge radius? Since when? Uh, this is on death. Yeah, I think the, 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 the rest stays. I want to upgrade this from 250 and 460 efficiency, 2.5 and 4 efficiency. So this is definitely better. Now we're spawning four of these instead of three that we previously did. So that means these are going to instantly spawn all of them. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we're good here. I'm not sure about the burn here. I'm thinking, do I want to maybe make this an on-hit chain reaction? I think I'm going to try to make this an on-hit chain reaction instead of an on-expire. So I'm going to say, uh, first of all, let's remove this. And just remove everything. So we're going to say, when this here contributes to a kill, no. The first one, the first one's always, always needs to be on-hit. So when the first one hits... Hmm, I don't even want this, and I don't even want this. We want the fastest attack speed version we can possibly get. So the fastest attack speed version is first, 142. Do I have an even faster attacking thing? I think I do have this thing here. So I'm gonna say this, the fast attack speed, is gonna become this, one, 142. Which is gonna make the connections here a bit worse, but it's okay. Then I'm gonna say that... Uh, we're not gonna do anything here. We're gonna say that when every, every 0 0.81 seconds, we shoot out... Ooh, we don't have anything to shoot out. Uh, I see my problem. Okay, we're gonna go over to culture and we're gonna just get a new organ. Wow, we found a good poison. But I'm gonna roll this because I need a weapon that attacks. Once again, nothing. Spending money like a mad lad. 193, 1.70x, 6. This is really good. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, 84 rerolls. I'm yoloing it. Yoloing heavy. Give me a weapon. Here we no! One-sided. 100 for a reroll! I'm taking this. I'm buying a new one. It costs also 100. Might as well sell the other thing. Uh, connect all offsprings with beams. Not really. 100 for reroll. Woo! Let's take this. I'm doing manual rerolls. Okay, none of these. Uh, cochlear of the Sloth activates a right side organ to prevent it from dealing critical strikes. Effects on left side organ expire. On expire. Mm, no, let's get whatever. Let's buy another organ. What is this? Root of the Bluebird. New one. The text ice berries that freeze the enemies in a certain range and when grabbed and uh, random locations on the map when activated, every organ located between the root and the brain reduce regeneration. Okay. This is a freeze effect, I guess. Nerve of the Clown once again. Only on uninjured enemies. Uh, I guess we can take whatever. So we didn't get a single attack right here. That's a bit sad. Well, I guess we're forced into the horns then. So we're going to put this one here, which does less damage now. And then we're going to say when that horn hits, I want you to uh, first of all shoot a machine gun, because why not? And then also hit a horn. Actually, why why machine gun? Burn the opponents. Actually, the, the last one should burn the opponents. And then when that thing hits, I'm going to say you shoot out another horn. And then when that contributes to kill the last one, then we shoot out a loop-de-loop, -loop, which does 9 damage. I'm not sure if I made the build better or worse. I feel like it's worse. These guys are applying the burn anyway, and then they also do the connection, so all the debuffs are there. And these guys are doing their thing. I did spend a lot of money here for no reason, but it's okay. So this has two, uh, 291, effective radius 3, and 180 efficiency. This has uh, 60, this has uh, 175 efficiency. 181, okay, this is useless then. Throw that away. Effect expires, machine gun effect. Might as well put it here instead of dragons around us. Right, might as well put this here. Does one damage anyway, might as well go back to dragons. I don't know, connect us with the pets. Instead of instead of connect the enemies with lasers. Now I think connect the enemies with lasers is the play. And I think this one is the better option here. So let's go with this one. 19 damage, very nice, a lot better. And we do have one more room as to what to do. But I don't think we can do anything about that. Uh, actually, we can, but we just need to throw some things away. I'm not sure about this. We're going to throw this away for sure. We're going to throw the... No, when expire is good in general. Let's throw the... F Ooh, let's throw the clone away. And let's also throw the tentacle of the sword away. I don't think we're going to use that. Take this away. Two, 290. Can I get brain capacity? 400. No, I cannot. Okay, we're going to drop rate it is. And let's see how the build is right now because I changed a couple of things. I want to see the chain spike reaction. Okay, the chain spike reaction is a thing that is happening. Ah, uh, looks decent-ish. Looks decent-ish. I'm not exactly sure how good this actually is, but we're gonna see. I should also... I think I have a machine gun effect on my pets. What machine gun effect do I have on these guys? What machine gun... They don't have a machine gun effect. It's just when they die. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's actually start this. And if we die, we die, as always. Let's continue. Wave 10. Okay, we're spawning my pets. Let's spawn more pets. I want to do a better chain reaction on the spikes, man. I want to do a better chain reaction. Hey, here we go. The build now is a go. <laughs> Previously it wasn't. Now it actually is. And now we got our little armada of the opponents. <laughs> Explosions, man. Explosions everywhere. Explosions, bounces, spikes. I would like to find more spikes, but I'm not finding more spikes is my main issue. I need spikes and on hit. 
Because the thing is, first spike fires, right? The, 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 the spikes fire two at a time. The horns, I guess. They fire The horns fire two at a time. So the first thing fires two. Those two each get on hit, spawn another horn attack, right? And then that thing is, you know, two times two is four. And then that is gonna shoot on... These four are gonna each shoot out another two, right? And then that just chains into chains into chains into chains. Like, that's the idea here. At least that's my idea of what I want to be doing. Uh, the bus is trying to destroy us. You know, the, the box is slowing down very slowly. They definitely changed that too. That's also a new thing they added in the patch, I guess. The laser of the boss fights most of the time, back in the day, used to become smaller very fast. Now they actually become a bit slower. So, uh, whoa, look at the armada of uh, skulls we have. Man, imagine if I can find a skull that has a right side open, okay? And then I put on those skulls, like, uh, and then I put on those skulls that every second they shoot out spikes. Oh, man, it's happening, man, it's happening. In my brain right now, I already have the build ready. I just need to find uh, a skull with the right side having duration. All of these have two slots. Uh, this is new, Thunder of the Mushroom. Project Lamont 3. Yeah, that's it. Shoot three projectiles that trace automatically. Uh, let's see what we find. Here we go. This is also new. Nerve of the jellyfish. Activate the right side organ while the left side organ hits a debuffed enemy. Oh, okay. This is almost an on-hit with a little bit of a different uh, take on it. I'm going to take that. Sludge, the legendary version. I take this. This What is this? Horn of Dinopantha and Horn of Dinopantha the blue. So this is 77 damage and 75 crit chance. So this is what we take. Maximum targets, three. A lot better. Strike enemies with a light, uh, lightning when activated. Every organ located between this organ and the brain reduce the damage. Okay, so this is going to be my first organ. Uh, yeah, I'm taking this. Excuse me. So we're going to say the very first horn is going to be, boom, this one. A lot better, 50 damage. Instead of, instead of, instead of 16. Yeah, we're going to go with 15 damage here. 50 damage. And then, yeah, on hit, on hit. Uh, this is an expire. Now we're going to say on hit, a debuffed enemy. Oh, this this is the loop-de-loop -loop I'm using. Uh, I should not actually throw these away. Although, I could say that you become this one, and then uh, you back here become this one. And then this does 45 damage instead of 9. Yeah, I'm gonna go spikes within spikes within spikes within spikes, as we said. Uh, I would like to get, I think, a point, because I can't really introduce anything anywhere. We could definitely do this, 14 damage loop-de-loops. Opponents that are burning make loop-de-loops. Or I could say make connections. Anyway, there is definitely gonna happen a connections here. So that's done. 23 damage instead of 19. Definitely better. And uh, is there any reason for us to go for brain capacity? That is my question. I could definitely put something here. Like opponents burn. Yeah, and that's going to definitely help out with this here. It says oh, hit debuffed opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to do. So let's go with brain capacity. Uh, here we go. And then let's continue with uh, the organ drop rate. And with 50 coins, might as well not take anything. And we're going to say when the first organ hits, which, by the way, hits three targets. Uh, wait, three targets? Yeah, the, the first three, multiply by two, multiply by three, and then multiply by three again. Does it happen? I don't think it matters which is front and which is back. The only thing that matters is that these 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 ones are back because they do more damage, and these are this in the front because there's more damage. Anyway, opponents are gonna be burning at the moment they get hit by the first one. So whenever this thing hits three, those three are gonna be burning, and also it's gonna fire out spikes, and those spikes are gonna fire out spikes, and those spikes are if they hit debuffed opponents are gonna throw out spikes, etc. 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 Here I'm gonna say alongside that firing, might as well do connections straight up. Connections are good. Uh, actually, let's go do connection with my pets. No, no, no. Let's do connections with whoever has a debuff because obviously that's more damage. And uh, here we're going to say... Here we go. Uh, whoever is connected does laser. Uh, or I can say... I can't really say that much, to be honest. We're completely honest. This is useless, though. So I'm going to say we fire off these. And when these contribute to a kill... No, when these expire... So this shoots how many projectiles? This shoots three projectiles. So this is three times... Uh, how much damage does this do? Four. How much damage does this do? One. This. Three. Okay, we're gonna go with the loops. So here it's like, uh, we are buffing ourselves. And then when that buff hits, uh, while we have the buff, which is pretty much permanently, uh, we shoot out uh, webs, connections, you know, and also this projectile, which when this thing hits, it shoots out more things. And honestly, uh, I want this when hits on the other side of the things, not on the debuffs. Actually, everything is debuffed. Everything is gonna be debuffed. We don't need to about that and i have 50 coins as we said let's also throw something out 
Uh, let's throw out the embryo. I'm not sure we're going to use this. And also the low connections. And also the connections with my pets. And let's continue with drop rate. And off into the battle we go. I think we're a lot more powerful and a lot more crazy right now. want to see the chain reactions upon chain reactions happen. Here we go with the loop-de-loops. Man, I want these loop-de-loops with the right side connection, man. I'm telling you. If the loop-de-loops get the right side connection. Whoa, you have no idea how crazy it's going to become. It's going to become uh, apocalypse. It's going to become um, apocalypse city. Uh, because then I'm going to say that the at the very, 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 very end of that spike line, you know, I'm going to say, okay, shoot out a spike. Whenever a loop-de-loop, um, you know, every one second you are within a loop-de-loop, -loop, shoot out a spike. You're going to see, you're going to see. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. We just need to find a loop-de-loop, -loop, the dragon head or whatever it's called, with a, th a slot on the right side. Straight up, you're going to see madness. Madness. This is Sparta. I mean, I'm even doing the meme on my own. Sound effects, sift effects. I do enjoy everything new they added. Haven't seen anything old yet. Like, almost literally the whole game is new as far as I'm seeing. Whoa. Let's continue destroying opponents. Let's just... Whoa. Hitting bounces and those bounces. I mean, just just because of the new thing where I made the bounces when they expired to spawn dragon heads. Look how many... Just look how many of these we have around us all the time. Whoa. And most of the opponents aren't even surviving. And we're going to make this even crazier, as I said. So at this point, we are obviously, we have obviously won this one. And let's continue. By the way, the reason why I went into difficulty 4 instead of 5 is because they made the, the difficulty 5 randomized. Although I should also get a win at level 5 at some point. By the way, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy the game so I can play more of this, you know, because algorithm is going to pick it up. Uh, we found a boomerang blade, the tentacle of the beetle. Uh, and we also found the other loop-de-loops. These also last 3 seconds. And this also doesn't have right side. No! <laughs> This is new nerve of the Mercat. Uh, activate the right side organ when the left side organ hits a boss or lead. Useless. Uh, Jackal again. Blue version. We're going to take that. Uh, and again, legendary version. I'm going to take this. Uh, max number 11 and also fertility 1.1. Narwhal. The extremely, extremely slow buff, as I said the other time. I don't enjoy anything. Let's re-roll these, I would say. I would say. Uh, blood crawl. This is the best debuff in the game. I think I'm gonna take it. <laughs> so what blood crawl does is it makes opponents take more damage based on how many stacks of this this, this buff they have. So we're gonna now switch the burn into this because it's straight up better, at least in my opinion. Um, uh, where 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 is the ant? Here's the ant. So this says uh, four fertility. Boom. This ant now says five fertility. I obviously need an upgrade for this one too. Uh, can this do anything? If I remove this, right, we can say that when the ant, as long as it's alive or something, it does something. You can say after 9 seconds of being alive, it burns opponents. And we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna see how much it costs to get bring capacity. Let's go with one bring capacity. So let's throw out oh, another pet. Another pet. Is this pet better? Uh, can I, can I somehow see? Need more capacity. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. 6.5 duration 6.6 .6 duration i mean it's almost the same fertility whatever fertility 186 okay this is better so let's throw that other pet away let's also throw this away what's this activate the right side organ to prevent from dealing crits prevent nope bye and uh how much do we want how much do we need i don't think we need our pet and throw this away too what is this gain two charges per second while moving max charges three uh, when reaching maximum charges, consume all charges. So every two seconds, it fires off whatever on the right side with two entry, with 280 something power. I guess, okay. Uh, this loop to loop once again is useless because, as we just mentioned, it doesn't have a right side. If you don't have a right side, you're pretty much useless for me. Uh, might as well throw this out. Uh, and also this. And let's go for brain capacity now again. Which was 600, so I was throwing out things for no reason. But whatever. Uh, and here we're gonna say, also on hit, not only shoot out these last spikes, but also shoot out a boomerang blade, which does 17 damage flat, because it's connected to the same connection like a horn. Uh, same goes with this, by the way. This is also not losing damage, because it's connected with a horn. And uh, we're gonna say, this is ready, because this is exactly what I was setting up previously. I'm waiting for the dragon, man. man if the dragon appears, if I get a dragon... Imagine a dragon with right side. Imagine that these two are going to go completely. And then over here, I'm going to put this. So the dragons are going to, every 0 0.79 seconds, are going to shoot out a thing. And I'm going to connect with whatever. It doesn't matter. With a horn. And then the game is over. Like, instantly the game is over. What can we do here? I don't think we can do anything here. Most of these things are already interconnected with a wild 
an array of things. I could do this, but I cannot connect this with anything. I would like to try this, but obviously we cannot do that. Uh, what is better, this or this? Yeah, this is better because this is more more damage. Anyway, let's throw these all out. And uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go. I don't have a brain. I don't have enough money for another brain. So let's go get more organs and let's continue. By the way, this here got nerfed to the ground. 0.05 increase. We're going to up 0.04% chance to get what? Like what? This is a joke. Joke. The most joke of the jokes. That's also a new change they did. Although I think that has been a long time since it was out of the game. Here we go. We got my little uh, pets that now have their aura. And then we also have the other pets that have their other aura. <laughs> a bunch of auras all around. I mean, the these, what are these called? The ants are putting up the aura that is around them as long as they're alive. For two and a half seconds or whatever. And then the other pets that move with us have the aura that um, they set up on the ground. Although I could theoretically put the aura that moves around with them on the pets that chase us. I'm, I have still not found the other pets that chase the opponents. I think it's like an owl or something. Maybe I did find it. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. Let's continue moving around, picking up things. Also, there is, as I said, a magnet. That's also something we haven't found yet, if you didn't realize. Uh, the magnet looks like a pistachio or something. If it appears, you're going to see it. Not that it matters, by the way, because this game is following the potato um, mechanic, where if you see at the top bottom left over here, these little uh, this little uh, box means that whatever XP I missed, we're going to get doubled in the next round, I guess. You know, let's say I miss 100 XP. The first 100 XP I find in the next round is doubled. So that I don't lose the XP. Which is the best mechanic you can possibly have, to be honest. So uh, that is a very poor explosion. Did you see that huge explosion? Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. But in case you don't know how the debuff that I said is the best debuff in the game works. It does more damage based on how many stacks of that same debuff the opponents have. So if they have 100 stacks, it does like 100 damage. Uh, this is the don't move pet. This is the spawn freeze. Another another buff. This is a new buff. So grants chance to avoid damage taken for a duration when activated. The buff skills with efficiency left side organ. Okay, 6% dodge chance. Who cares? And I found another one of the herd of embryo, which we might use because we have inf um, immortal pets. Coral. This once again doesn't have right side. Can I find something with the right side? <laughs> Uh, Garg Wings of the Guard. This is money. I'm gonna take it. I'm not gonna use it. It's time. Here we go. We found the magnet. So this is the magnet. Root of the Magnet. <laughs> magnet. Which does uh, detect magnets uh, that absorb all the cells on the battlefield. And I mean, I'm gonna just straight up take it because I want a magnet. I do enjoy magnets. I also enjoy this, but can I get a loop to... Here we go. Another boxer or another unicorn horn. Uh, I guess another unicorn horn. It doesn't feel right, but whatever. Uh, let's go with another unicorn horn. And let's now try to put the magnet somewhere. I mean, I know where I'm going to put it. We're going to put it in the brain. And now I'm going to say the new brain is going to say every uh, two seconds, pretty much. Actually, no, forget this thing. Where are my... Uh... Oh, I don't have any of these good ones. Well, it is what it is then. First of all, I'm not going to use the, the freeze. Bye-bye freeze. So I'm going to say every... Uh, I'm always moving, right? So every two seconds... Or every three seconds twice. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work. We're going to spawn one of those magnets, which doesn't have enough regeneration. Very nice. So this is not powerful at all. <laughs> I need something more powerful. Is this more powerful? The 600 power. Yeah, this is going to be more powerful. So this, every, every four seconds, flat out, every four seconds, we get a magnet. How crazy is that? I find it very crazy. And then we're going to say the magnet. No, no, no. <laughs> every, no, no, forget the magnet. So I'm going to say, and also every four seconds, we spawn a pet. You see, uh, we spawn three pets, which we can have a maximum of three. Uh, and then we're going to say that those pets, every 79, uh, 0.79 seconds, which we're going to have three of, are going to fire off a boomerang. Okay, so three pets fire off a boomerang every 0.79 seconds. Uh, actually, the boomerangs, they, um, yeah, 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 the boomerangs are play. And then the boomerang, while it's mid-flight, which, by the way, the boomerang is always have has infinite piercing, and it always is mid-flight for 3 seconds, so the boomerang always survives for 3 seconds. While it is mid-flight, every 0 0.99 seconds, so that means 3 times while it's mid-air, it's gonna spike opponents with 3d damage. And that's a 7 out of 10. Okay, wait a minute, can I say that when it on hit? Can I say on hit? If it contributes to a kill. So, if, if it contributes to a kill, hmm, no, then it's kill, kill related. No, 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 we don't want it to be on a kill. And when this spike contributes to a kill, then uh, it's gonna hammer slammer. 
So the, the opponent's gonna, the opponent that dies is gonna just kaboom. Like, it's gonna slam the ground. That's what that's gonna look like. Uh, 16 damage. 3 damage. 8 damage. Oh, it's gonna shoot out this thing. Which is uh, one projectile that pierces two. Nah, I think we're gonna go with the hammer slammer. I think that's it from that side. Over here, can we put anything? Not really. We have a 9 out of 10, but I mean, we can also say that, you know what, alongside these, also don't forget to connect us with units that have poison bag and belly beams. <laughs> I'm just connecting everything. Everything is going to be connected all the time. Uh, this one over here can't really connect anything. I mean, yeah, you, you can't really put anything in this. Uh, pretty much. I'm not seeing anything. Uh, I would say from these two, let's also definitely sell this one because this lasts longer and also has a bigger duration and also has the right side. Well, this is useless. So let's sell that. Still have the on death. I think this this part is good and this part's also decent. I'm gonna say this is useless. I'm gonna also say this is useless. And this is like an explosion effect that uh let's sell it. And this is uncontributed kill. We're gonna keep these. We're gonna keep these just in case. And we're gonna say continue getting more organs. And with 50 coins, we can't really do anything. Let's see how good or not we are. I mean, we should straight up be better because I just added one more brain while not changing anything else, honestly. So uh let's see how this is gonna go. And let's go and pick up my little magnet. Boom. Uh, if you see at the bottom left, by the way, you remember when I was talking about this little bottle? Now you see we have 70 double XP pickups. That's pretty much how that works. And look at all my loop-de-loops. Can I please find the loop-de-loop? -loop? I mean, I found the boomerangs. Wait a minute, I just realized I found the boomerangs. I can have the boomerangs be the loop-de-loop -loop effect. Right? Uh, I'm not sure if it's visible, by the way, but the boomerangs, as you see, they're mid... Like, spikes are happening all the time. Do you see, like, all the opponents being like... Do you see, like, everything is lasering and getting lasered all the time? That's the boomerang effect. That is the boomerang just, you know, as many boomerangs are mid-flight, that's how many opponents get spiked. I just wanted the loop-de-loop -loop because the loop-de-loop -loop looks better. Uh, having in general the loop-de-loop -loop around you. Well, the boomerang is the same thing, by the way. Like, it has, has the same duration <laughs> with the other. But it doesn't matter. By the way, why am I running around picking up XP? I don't need to run around for XP ever again. Like, ever. I, I can just wait for the magnet to appear and then we just run towards the magnet. Here, here it is. Boom, got it. Everything gathered. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. How awesome is it that you can straight up get a magnet every four seconds? I think it's insanely awesome. Boom, got it. I, I love the game. This, this game is just so, so, so good. The replayability is through the roof. And the customization is through the roof. And how much you can break is also through the roof. Like, everything in this game is literally through the roof. I could make the boomerangs be flaming, actually. Uh, instead of the pets being flaming. And I can make the pets spike. So, maybe I should do that. My pets put out spikes and my boomerangs put out flames on the ground. I want to see what that's going to be looking like. Uh, what is this? Then I go the quill. That's a, that's a three chain, three projectiles. This is godlike, okay? Because this is one of those skills that you put an on hit on. And the reason is because this is going to be projectile three chain three. So, this is nine hits, right? Three projectiles that each bounce three times. And then you put this on hit. So, this instantly gets nine on hit effects. And we also found another spike. Uh, and we found our fire lizard. Ellie Chu makes a point take more damage. Like, who cares? Uh, this is new. Intestine of the Seed Snipe. Spread the effects of the right side organ on the ground, creating an expanding area. Fire series 0.2 seconds. Uh, I mean, between those choices, I'm going to take this. This is huge, by the way, but we're going to take the expanding one. White Fox. That's a fast attack, but it's not fast enough. Or I could go Root for Life, which is healing, but it has so low regen, it's not going to work. Let's go with this. Mushroom. This is two chains, one projectile. Not really that crazy. Uh, connect all the offsprings. I can connect the offsprings, I don't know. So, now we're gonna go to the first one, and we're gonna say, instead of having the spikes as the first thing of contact, first of all, forget this, instead of having the spikes as the first thing of contact, also forget the boomerangs, we're gonna have the, the chain. We're gonna have the chain reaction be the first uh, point of contact. Then we're gonna say, you are here. And uh, then we're gonna say, at the very, very end over here, actually, this doesn't even need to be, no, 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 everything's gonna be debuffed anyway. I'm going to still say that when these hits, they debuff. And then over here, we're going to say that we also get more spikes, right? When they hit. Although it would be better to say we want the spikes here. But I think might as well go for this one. So this is ready. Yep, this is ready. Now, yeah, now we're going to have a lot more. Like, a lot more. And uh, honestly, I could definitely increase damage of some things if I could connect them better. Which I can't do right now. So... What could I do? What could I do? Could I put something here that's maybe better? What does this have on hit? This is one projectile, two chains. I could also do the spike here, straight up. This is just two maximum targets, but it does more damage, is the thing. So while I'm buffing, I'm also shooting out spikes, which do more damage. Does this pierce two, projectile amount three? Mm, this actually might be better on hit effect. And then here at the very end, instead of having loop-de-loops around us, uh, we're gonna say... 
we just have spikes, which are gonna just contribute to more damage. I don't think the loop de loops do that much damage. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Ah, let's keep the loop de loops to have a consistent thing going on. Uh, let's go with brain capacity, maybe, to become even more powerful. What is this? Activate the right side organ and make it crit. And the left side organ is fine. I mean, you need crit damage for that. But that is not good for us because the spikes in general have a very high crit chance. 55% crit chance. So this is just very weak for how we are playing. And uh, honestly, I would like to also use these spikes because I am supposed to be a spike character, right? Mm, I'm not sure. Is this the one we're looping all the time? By the way, I just mentioned... I want these guys to throw out boomerangs. Yeah, so we're gonna say every one second while you guys are alive, you throw out. Uh, I don't. I, I don't need this. You throw out a boomerang. This boomerang lasts three seconds, and then those boomerangs, every 1.42 seconds, that's like twice, twice in their lifetime. They. Uh, no, 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 no. These boomerangs. 1.98. This one. Not this one. Two seconds. I mean, they're going to only have one uh, attempt to put them down. So we're going to say this one. The one that has... I mean, is this not straight up better? This has 4 radius, 202, and activates every two seconds. This activates a bit faster, but less and less. So we're going to go here, and we're going to say you put on the ground the debuff. Instead of the pets putting down the debuff, we're going to say that the pets shoot out boomerangs that put down the debuff. I definitely could make this better. Like, th there is definitely, definitely, definitely some making all of these better. For sure. What does that matter? I don't think it really matters. Uh, let's throw away this. Let's throw away... What is this? Buff. Dodge buff. Buy. Movement speed buff. Maybe decent. Spawn pets. Connect with pets. There are these. Uh, prevent from crits. That's also not good because we are a crit build after all. Both Anything that talks about crit is useless for us. Uh, this is mediocre to be honest. Let's throw that away. I could put that on the pet though. Now I threw it away though so we can't get it back. But it is what it is. I was a bit too fast on that. Uh, do I have more of these? No. Let's continue with brain capacity so I can do another combo piece. And now we're going to start going for a um, effect radius because effect radius is really good in this game. Okay, I cannot control uh, combine anything here unless I throw this burn out and put something back here. But I don't think this really helps. So th th this part of the build can't really improve that much. This part of the build can... I guess one projectile could come here. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go with connect with my pets. Here I definitely can do something. So I'm gonna say while the buff lasts, uh, every 1.42 seconds, no, every every 1.98 seconds, we put burn on the ground or we put movement speed on the ground. Yeah, 13% movement speed. That's also gonna help my pets. And uh, here I'm gonna say... Mm, I can't really do anything because these are all attacks and I need them to connect with uh, activators and then I need another slot on the right so that's not just not, not happening. By the way, the, the deeper I put this, it's going to be worse. Yeah, we're going to have these pets, the other pets, we just have a million pets. I haven't seen these pets actually spawn at all. Do they not spawn? Give me a sec to do a test just to see them, right? Because I didn't see them. <laughs> we were, were throwing out flames. These are the one pets. Ah, and these are the other pets. Okay, I, I found them. I found them. Okay, fair enough. Let's go into an actual run. I didn't want to spoil how busted we're going to be. And at this point, I think we're pretty much winning. Like, the game is over. So, we're at wave 14, at wave 20 tens. We're shooting our triple flame shots. Flame shots! And those flame shots, the moment they hit, they, they just... Madness. Just madness. Because what is happening is, those flame shots, the moment they hit, they put out spikes that put out spikes that put out spikes. Like, uh, the, the spikes, I mean the laser beams, right? Like, they put out laser beams that put out laser beams that put out laser beams, and they just chain react into each other because, you know, nine nine hits, those nine hits each are two spikes each, and then those two spikes each all hit for another three spikes each. I mean, look at the boss, look at the boss. Just look at the boss melting. Is it true? Nope, the boss is not melting. Cancel everything I said. We're dying. Panic, 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 panic. Oh, warning, warning, panic, panic. <laughs> uh, my expectation was that the boomerangs were going to be setting up even more things on the ground. I guess change of plans. I'm still searching for the head of the dragon <laughs> with the right slot, man. Please, by the way, we are doing a lot of damage. I take back the taking back. Look at this madness here. Boss's toast. Very nice and very powerful. Uh, let's go and pick up a magnet. Here we go. Look how many buffs we have set up on the ground, by the way. Everything is just straight up getting buffed. And let's not forget that whoever is close to me also gets um, the other buff. Maybe I should have the permanent movement buff and have the attack speed buff on the ground. Yeah, I should switch the buffs. I should make the movement speed buff the permanent one and the um, the one that's around me all the time. And I should, because that's a weaker version of the thing that sets up on the ground. 
Then I must make the thing that sets up on the ground the good one. The the attack speed version, the frequency or whatever. Okay, uh, did I find... Oh, another horn, horn of the demon, 26 damage baseline. And also a camel, which is very slow. Uh, of the wolf, activate the rest of the organ when damage is taken. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, sloth, once again, all, all of these are useless. Yeah, let's take this one. Oh, from the dragon with right side, thank you. And a boxer, but dragon with right side, that's a win. Nawal! <laughs> Five years later, it fires the buff. I'm gonna take this for money. So, now that I found exactly what I wanted... Okay, now that we found the most busted thing in the game, I'm gonna say, I don't need this, right? Yeah, I don't need this. I just need chain reactions. So, the thing is, this thing shoots, and then this shoots three spikes, and when those hit, it shoots three spikes, and then when those hits, do I have another when those hit, by the way, in any other area here? Because I want to definitely get those. Here it is. There is a when hits here. So, we're gonna definitely switch these. Uh, you guys get saved. You can come with me. When those hits, you... Uh, I, I don't need you guys. You're gonna become on hit. And we're gonna rotate you guys over here back into when you hit something that is... So this is how it was, with the difference being that it fires a bit less. But that doesn't matter. So, every 0 0.81 seconds, we fire corals. that uh, ni We hit three and uh, nine opponents. Nine opponents. When we hit those nine opponents, we shoot out three spikes from each. When we hit those, we shoot out three spikes from each. When we hit those, we shoot out a dragon head. And when the dragon head exists, not everyone, I, I need a good one of these. I need one of the good machine guns. Actually, my best machine gun. Uh, every 1.25 seconds, that's a decent one, I guess. None of these. Here is 0 0.79, so I'm gonna say switch these so this pet fires every 142 seconds i don't care about this part um, and then we're gonna say while these are mid-flight every 0 0.79 seconds it shoots out the legendary spike we just got which does 41 damage so this obviously is insane <laughs> like this is completely insane this is a lot of damage and then i'm gonna also say then when this hits might as well burn opponents right we, we, we rotate back into still burning the opponents at the very end now uh, the rest of these i don't think it really matters uh, but what I'm going to do is we're going to make it so that the ground buff, which is... Uh, who does the ground buff? Do I do everything? Yeah, I do everything. We want to switch these. So I'm going to say instead of 11% uh, uh, frequency buff and 13% movement speed buff, we're going to switch these and it's going to be 8% frequency buff and 18% movement speed buff. And as you understand, I made a mistake, so we're going to switch this back and that's it. And that was a joke, by the way. I hope you guys got it. Uh, every three nine seconds. This is a lot more. This is a lot more powerful though. Three hundred efficiency. This is hundred eighty efficiency. So if I do this switch though, if I do this switch though, then wait a minute. Is this buff permanent? Does this even work? I want to see if this works. By the way, let's just go really quickly into this because I think my buff, the buff around us, is not permanent enough. I don't want to spoil what's gonna happen. I'm waiting for the ground buff. Does it fire? Yes, it fires. And it's obviously better because this gives us more attack speed. Okay, you're gonna see the madness happen in a moment. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? This is wave 15, which is which means it's the end. I'm gonna check that everything is good. I think everything is good. I might have not min-maxed to 100%. You know what? Uh, I don't need hammer slammers. We can go with the spike that gets more damage the deeper it is, right? 80, 60 damage right here. Uh, I also don't need more connections. We can go with another spike right here. Very nice. That's also really good. And, um, yeah, maybe just switch around things that are not spikes, right? This is, this for example is three projectiles, two piercing. I could just put a spike on that. Instead of eight damage, it's gonna easily be, boom, 47 damage. So, uh, let's go with that. And uh, I think we're ready. We're gonna just straight up sell everything. And then we're gonna go into the build, the run. So let's just sell everything. The reason why you sell everything, uh, is because you want to just buff yourself. We're gonna go effective radius because that's the good thing. The joke or whatever, let's go base damage. Mm, movement speed is always good. And I think a good old crit damage. 20% crit damage. Oh yeah, for sure, because we are a crit build and crit chance. Yeah, let's go crit chance. And let's go ahead and win the game because now we're gonna just break it. You're gonna see the game lag most likely. I'm waiting for I, I'm, I'm, ready, I'm waiting for it. Oh no, you're not going to see it lag. The only thing you're going to actually see is that we're going to have... Everything is going to be getting spiked all the time. It's not really visible. That's the good thing with the spikes. That they're not really visually taxing. But as you see, the opponents are getting like spiked all the time. If you see... Look, look at any opponent and you're going to see that they're getting a spike be below them every single second. Like, like, 
it's, it's a Madeline machine gun effect going on. Look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Just, just lasers after lasers after lasers. Which is the build, right? That is the build. Obviously, we could break this even more. Oh. Did the opponent just shoot projectiles at us? We could break this even more if we decided, you know, that the dragons, instead of shooting out spikes, shot out, I don't know, burn effects or something. Because, you know, stacking debuffs on debuffs on debuffs is a lot better in this game than actually just doing damage straight up. Uh, but, you know, we're playing around. We're playing around with the new stuff they added in the game. We're playing around with the new rhinoceros a character they added in the game, which is the one I have right now. Uh, and we're just waiting for the win. Uh, I mean, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's taking thousands upon thousands of damage. Uh, this is a monstrosity, by the way. I just realized they also added new opponents. <laughs> this is now I realize. And look how slowly the box becomes smaller. Back in the day, it used to be extremely fast. Good thing we have movement speed. At this point, we won because the moment the boss dies, the game ends. Oh no, my pets, my hamsters. We never found a single... Um, what is it called? Oh, this is also bugged out. Normally, you see your pet here at the end. Um, your character. We didn't find a single uh, owl that I wanted, but it doesn't matter, unless I'm blind. Am I blind? If I'm blind, don't forget to comment down below and tell me about it. I definitely didn't see anyone. And here we go, protected, uh, unlock the statue. Let's also just see what the statue does. Uh, this is it, by the way, it's bugged out too here. The game is very bad right now. A prototype that wipes out everything while stationary. Working frequency is increased by 5% for every HP you lose. Okay, so you want to have a bunch of HP. Which, yeah, and then when you lose it, you gain attack speed. Organ frequency of organs is reduced by 100% while moving, but organ-based damage is increased by 100% while you're stage stationary. You should just stay in the middle and don't do anything. Okay, nice. It's it's nice that the, the, the organs here do um, a bunch of new things. I mean, look at all these. This, this Wow, even this one. Like, everything is new. I, I think they changed the whole game around. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. By the way, don't forget to check out what date it is right now because half of the things I said <laughs> were uh, related to that. Uh, but the game did actually get a patch, so there you go. Anyway, uh, I'm going to continue uploading a bunch of videos today, or at least I'm going to try to because right now it's 12 a.m. Uh, no, what? Well, 11 p.m. You know what? Doesn't matter. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. By the way, in the beginning, I, I meant it's 10 p.m., not a.m. Uh, so yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. The game is still enjoyable. The game is still awesome. I'm not sure how much more I'm going to play from this, but uh, f from this on this. Ah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.